very special exhibit featuring the work of two-time Emmy award-winning cinematographer John Simmons is now on display virtually courtesy of the Jean Deliage Art Gallery in Los Angeles. It features multi-layered paper collages along with black and white photographs depicting the harsh realities and struggles of black American history. Well, we are honored to welcome John Simmons right here live to the fore to talk a little bit more about this. First of all, I just want to say thank you so much for your time this afternoon. And thank you for having me. It's wonderful to be here. I read so much about you and was a little surprised to find out just how young you were when you started working as a photographer only at 16 years old. You know, sometimes we just meet, two things meet each other at the right time. I picked up a camera and I looked through it and I fell in love and I've been totally enthusiastic about taking pictures since that very first day. The gallery that we were talking about showcases so many of your photos starting in 1965 in Chicago all the way through present day. When you go back, John, and look at these images, especially those from decades ago, and compare them to now, what sort of stands out for you? You know, it's just, it's just that at that time, it was such a passionate era. You know, the 60s was full of all kinds of stuff. There was civil rights activities. There were war protests. There was music and culture. It was just the perfect time to pick up a camera and to be able to record things and just be there and live that moment. And when I see those photographs, it almost feels like somebody else did them because I was such a young kid at the time. And when hearing some of the stories that you were telling as you're capturing these images, we always picture a photographer sort of on the outskirts of things snapping away. But there were many times, John, that you were right in the middle of it and actually suffered some physical altercations because of that. Yeah, well, you know, it was a pretty rough time. In, in 1968 at the Democratic Convention in Chicago, it was kind of, you know, a pretty exciting time. And in the South photographing civil rights demonstrations and, thing, and things like that. You know, some of those environments were a bit challenging. But when you're young, you feel bulletproof, so you feel like you can just get by with anything. Let's talk about what you're doing right now. Working as a cinematographer, you have been for many years behind the lens of a lot of famous shows, especially on the Disney Channel. Right now, you're working for a Netflix show called Family Reunion. Yeah, I just wrapped Family Reunion the other day. It's a wonderful show, it's really funny, it's on Netflix, and it always addresses social issues. So it's pretty exciting to work on it. And the wonderful thing about it is it's such an inclusive crew. I mean, we have people of all cultures that come together to make this thing happen. And for me, that's very important because we learn so much from each other. It gets to be a very rich environment when all kinds of cultures mix, mix together to pull something off. I'm about to start another show called iCarly for Nickelodeon. I start in a few weeks. That won't air for a while. It's a reboot. I can't wait to share that with my kids because when I was looking through the list of shows that you've been a part of, a lot of them, multi-generational families will recognize because you've been at this for a while, John. I've been quite a rock star among six to 12 year olds throughout my career. <laughs> <laughs> Where can folks find more information about the exhibit again, which takes place coming up here on February 28th? Uh, on February 28th, we have an online uh, discussion, and you can find it by going to uh, CASA0101 on the internet. It will tell you all about it, and you can also take a tour through the exhibit. But it's going to be a Q&A, and, &A, and the, the moderator is Jimmy Centano, who curated the exhibit. He's a brilliant man with a very creative eye, and the gallery is pretty Great. special to me because it's in a real community where people can if it wasn't COVID, could just walk in and see the work. It's wonderful. John Simmons, legendary cinematographer and also still photographer. We certainly appreciate your time, and we'll see you on the 28th. Hey, I appreciate you having me. Right, Good luck.